This local sports report is brought to you by the Cambridge Minor Football Association. Registration is now open for the 2019 season. Check out details on the Lions website about registering for Bantam, Junior Varsity, and Varsity teams. Visit cambridgelions.ca. As a child, I grew up in a household full of bikes, basketballs, frisbees, baseball gloves, and course hockey sticks, despite the fact that I've never played hockey. Before the age of seven, I tried my hand at soccer, basketball, and baseball, none of which found my heart, causing me to quit after just one year each. It wasn't until a day at Hillcrest Public School I received a pamphlet explaining the details of the Cambridge Wolverines. I ran home with my parents, begging them to let me play football. Not sure if it was just to get me to be quiet or my dashing good looks, they gave in, allowed me to try out for the Mike team. Football was by no means my first sport, but easily the first time I felt any, time of competitive, any type of competitive urge. Even being well aware of the fact that everyone was in their first or second year of football, I still felt like I was undersized and had a serious lack of football IQ. With a fantastic support system at home and an environment that cultivated my relentless competitive nature I, that I carried me today, the CMFA was going to take me for an unbelievable ride that I wouldn't change for the world. As I got older and kept playing football, I was coached by many different people with varying levels of success. Many of these coaches I still stay in contact with by helping coach younger kids in the summer for the past four years. Due to my never-ending energy and noticeable aggression, when playing, I was made a linebacker for my entire youth. Kids born with speed and size dominated teams in my first few years of football, especially carrying on to Bantam in 2011. In the OVFL, we had an undefeated season ending with a championship that had a roster completely stacked with talent at every position. Due to this, I rarely saw the field. Everybody was simply bigger, faster, and stronger than me. And looking back nowadays, they just wanted it more. That season alone forced me to reevaluate what I was gonna get from, the, from, this, from this sport and how I wanted to chase my dreams. In the next year, with the older age group in Bantam in 2012, we are still a very talented team, definitely lacks some player leadership and grit that we had the year prior. We fell short to Brant in the first round of playoffs at Rogers Field, 56 to 14. It's a tough game. Specifically, a year that, that I had quite a bit of playing time, my first taste of impact that I could have on game and on the team. Moving on to 2013, I knew I wanted more for myself. I was heavily into weight training at my high school, as well as doing extra runs after practice with my dad and my older brother. As I kept getting taller and other kids started to fill out, I was told to switch positions from linebacker to defensive back. I was the younger age group on a new team at a new position. The situation definitely opened my eyes to some more adversity. The jump from band from junior to junior was extreme. The boys are becoming men, coaches are treating you as such. No more spoon feeding or hand holding. The trials were tough and evaluations were black and white. It was quite a simple system. You make plays, you make the team. Get beat, you get sent down to the OMFL. I'd only been cut from once before, and it was from the fall season with the Wolverines after the 2011 season that the Lions had finished. I promised myself that would not happen again. So throughout the three trials, I'd made the team, and to my surprise, I was starting. I only started the first two games, and as the season progressed, I was taken off every single special team. And to top it all off, I went in with one minute left in the fourth quarter of the championship game. Once again, our team was insanely talented. That's no excuse to give myself a justify. My consistent decline during the season. I let myself down. Fast forwarding 2014 season, where I played safety, was relied on as an anchor for the defense. I believe that I flourished at this position for the first time. In a little while, I felt like a true playmaker. Despite being in the regular season, we had yet again lost to Brampton in the semifinals 48 or 33. I remember this game as a pinnacle moment in my playing career. I played so bad. <laughs> I always evaluated myself after games, but would often find excuses. I couldn't show the throat that one. It was a mess. I simply demanded more for myself. So as I head back to the drawing board and begin pushing myself a little harder, oh, I got it. Bill Martindale had preached to me for now two years as my DC that he hates trampolines and has players who should avoid them at all costs. Well, in the off season, I was on a trampoline at Sky Zone, broke my ankle. I swear, Bill was on my shoulder as I limped down the stairs with my mom. I had never broken a bone before, let alone a serious injury, definitely pushing the healing process along as much as possible, but at the end of the day, healing takes time. Time which I didn't have. Coming up in my first season of the University, in 2015, it proved to be the biggest test of my character yet. 
I didn't trust my ankle, my head wasn't in the right place, and worst of all, at this point, I'd started to build a name for myself as a pretty good football player. Sure, making that name for yourself is great, but that comes with the expectations. I was expected to start and heavily contribute on this team, but mistake after mistake, and game after game, and in practice, it really tested me. I thought I had met my maker. I was beginning to lose my love for the game, and that was kind of scary. At the tail end of the season, I traveled to Quebec to participate in the Canada Cup with Team Ontario. Did I ever need that? I played really well over a couple weeks, truly fell in love with the game all over again. Traveled back to Cambridge winning, after winning silver in Quebec, only to lose the London Junior Mustangs in the first round of playoffs again, 31-13. Moving on to 2016. At this point, it was the beginning of a, to be severely recruited by universities. In my second year senior, I was a part of one of the most dialed in and committed teams I've ever been a part of. Coached by Jackson Yonkis, the team made up of players that wanted to win a championship, and we had done just that. After a complete win on all three levels of the game against Niagara in the semifinals, we beat Kingston 54-28. Having one of the best football seasons yet, university recruitment was heavily, was extremely heavy and very aggressive. My last season with Cambridge Lions came in 2017. I was admittedly a little absent-minded, working full-time, just committed to university golf, and actually missed a playoff game due to a vacation I took. <coughs> Despite all the years of trials and tribulations I had gone through with the sport of football and how hard I was training, I thought I was prepared for a training camp. Boy, was I wrong. <laughs> training camp kicks everybody's ass, no matter how much you put training you put into it. My first practice sure put in perspective how much effort and mental fortitude the university football is going to take. All of that is just physical. Beyond the fields, the schoolwork, the actual reason you're attending the, the university in the first place. Football, the football is for fun, but if your schoolwork school isn't figured out, the administration office and coaches have no problem removing you from the team until your schoolwork is in order. Then comes a 30-page game prep I get every Tuesday for the next team. You're expected to memorize the install and study your player matchup. After three practices and a lot of film, you better make sure you know all 30 pages and get the back of your hand. And to be the player that I strive to be, I must be watching film myself and the opponent on my own time. If you want to be completely confident on game day, I must make sure I know everything about the person I'm going against in every special team and every defensive set. But at the end of the day, after your workouts, your practices, film with and without the team, you go home only to finish your homework that you got from your classes that day. University football is one of the most fun things you'll ever do, but it comes with a lot of stress, commitment, and a lot more stress from both football and school. I can't emphasize much how much Cambridge organization has helped me along the way, from testing and forcing me to find out what kind of player I wanted to be and gaining some lifelong friends. I would not be here who I am today without the Cambridge organization. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, and just, <coughs> just to... For more highlights, visit our website, 519sportsonline.ca. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.